go to verse 37. Paul, before that, verse 30. At last the sign that the Son of Man is coming will appear in the heavens, and there will be deep mourning among all the peoples of the earth. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay? In other words, when Jesus came here in this world 2,000 years ago, only few, few people saw that. Right? He was born in the manger. So the three, who was it? Wise men came from east, and then Joseph and Mary. But, when he comes back, every tongue, every nation, every people will see with their own eyes. Because he's coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay? So, <clears throat> verse 32, Now learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches bud and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is near. Okay, this is the parable he's given us. Go down to verse 37. When the Son of Man returns it, will be like it was in Noah's day. What did people do in Noah's day? People mocked Noah because Noah built the ark for how many years? 120 years. Can you imagine that? How many generations passed by? God could build an ark just overnight, split second. But why God gave Noah the time frame of 120 years? So can you imagine that? He was building an ark on the mountain. People are passing by. Hey Noah, what are you doing? They are so good today. So fine. Today is 76 degrees. Hot. Warm. Why don't you come down and have a party? But Noah was building the ark. See how many people mocked him. You're so stupid. God is not coming back. Judgment is not coming. But what happened? After completion of the ark, 120 years later, as God promised, 40 days and 40 nights of what? Pouring the rain. And then he wiped out whole human beings. Except for Noah's family. See, Noah's day, they drink. Here, 38. In those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. So think about that. What verse is that uh, there is a war between nations? <clears throat> Where was it? In this chapter. What verse is that? Famine, earth, earthquake. Where was it? Do you have the Bible? <laughs> huh? Six? Okay. Okay, during the end times, this will happening, okay? You, verse six. You will hear wars and threats of wars, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place but the end won't follow immediately. Nation will go to war against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes 
in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. So look around what is going on nowadays. Terrorism, right? The wars in the Middle East. It is not just coincidence what Bible predicts. In Jesus' time, it's already started. So for how many years? Over 2,000 years, they're fighting against their own tribes. See, their fathers are same, Abraham. Mothers are different. But they're constantly fighting, killing, destroying. Why? Why is that? See, we need to ask God. God says, I am going to send my son to die for our sins. That happened 2,000 years ago. He came. In his time, he's going to send his son again to judge the world. So timing God talks about in the Bible, it's not what we talk about, the chronological time. It's not historical time. God's time in Hebrew, Kairos. That's the God's timing. God said already the time. That's the end times. Jesus is coming. Last week I talked about the Wycliffe Wicl missionary organization based in Chicago. They are mainly translating Bible into own, their own indigenous people's language. By 2020, Every language, every tribe in this whole world are going to hear and have their own language of the Bible. So how many years are left? Ten years. I don't know whether ten years later Jesus will come back. Jesus said, day and hour, I don't know. Only my father knows. But, for sure, I will come back for you. Time is near, people. We need to be awakened and pray to God. When He comes back, either you're going to be caught up with Him or you're going to be remained in this world. Two ways. That's what Bible talks about. That's what victory, he gave us the illustration. Bride. So we need to be awakened. Because when it comes back, it's very serious. Whether you're going to be left alone here, or you're going to be with Jesus Christ. So look around this whole world. What is going on? Killing. Destroy. And look at even in these societies. There is no more moral, morality. Ethical aspect, zero. This is just like what the book of Judges says. Whatever it is suitable to our eyes, we do. We live. We say. And then we claim that our rights. Because this is my life. You have no right to tell me to believe Jesus Christ. That's true. It is your choice. But think about the last day. What's going to happen? So we need to understand the seasons of life. What God says to all of us, to Christians. You know the book of Revelation? 